אנו מסכימים לדברי תוירה, והם מסכימים לדבר מתהלים. אנו המלם והם המלם. It's a very special occasion, very exciting, and as one who's been so close with Rabbi Godlevsky for so many years, um, as somebody who's learned from him and uh, seen uh, all the things that he's done for the community, apart from personally having the covet of being his mechutten, I'm really very proud to be one of the people participating this evening and seeing the tremendous achievements of the Edgeware Terror Center. May it continue to go mechayel el choyel. ETC under the leadership of Rabbi Golevsky Schlitz is a place we are all able to strive to reach one's potential and to grow within one's Yiddish guides. Whilst on holiday from Yeshiva, the ETC was a great support to have. Whether with the late Bain Hazmanim <coughs> Minyanim, Chizuk Shirim, and Shabbos and Yom Tov Mills, when they came to Israel on a personal trip, the Rabbi and Rebetzin, they made a visit to Al Semech and remembered me. It's this type of warmth and personalized attention which makes the center stand out from other shoes. I think most of all it's important to have a center such as this here because of the benefit it provides to local people. And I've certainly been reading about the library and what's contained in the library. And that's something that's valuable to everyone. Yes, well our MP is very supportive of our community, Matthew Offord, and he's uh, come this evening. We're very happy to welcome him here. And I know that he's, uh, he's very impressed by the things that the Edward Terrace Center has achieved for our community. When people ask me what is, what, what is my connection to ETC and what, what, what is ETC, I always have to think of a Moshe, and I say a deal, of like a small convenience store, almost like a 7-Eleven. Open for business at 7 a.m. with the first minion, and we have various minionim during the, throughout the day. There's learning going on in the morning and in the evening, and we basically close after late Mario at 11 p.m. The service is good, the people that are involved are friendly, caring and warm. And Rabbi Gadleski, the most inspiring personality in the community. He certainly is, I can completely agree with that. I think it's great the work he's done here on behalf of the local community and it's good that so many people support him and support his work, but he is a truly inspirational person. I thank Daniel Lopion for welcoming us here. When I came to him nine years ago, or just over, to ask him, can I would you welcome me here if I come open another center, another shul here? And he said to me, the more pubs, the more drinkers. <laughs> Yes, Kirov is really close to the heart of Rabbi Kodlevsky, as it is indeed to many of his colleagues. I phoned her up and I said to her, my name is Rabbi Kodlevsky. I have a center in Ilford, which you live, you live there. And I'd like you to come for Shabbos. In fact, I think it was before the Pesach. I'd like you to join us at Pesach as well. He said to me, Rabbi, I'd love to come. But I'm studying, and in order to make a bit of money to pay for my studies and so on, I work out of hours, evenings and weekends, and over Shabbos. That's my main earnings. I thought to myself, here's a young lady who wants to. The spark is ignited. But she needs to find the support. I asked her, how much do you earn on Shabbos? She told me an amount. It's quite, it quite a sizable amount. I said to her, you know what? 
We'll cover it for you. We'll cover it for you. <coughs> Not just for this Shabbos, for the whole year. It took a few, it took me a few weeks of phoning her again and again. Some people said to me, stop nagging her, it's not, you know, you're going to lose her. So suddenly I phoned her again. Another me- In those days, there was no text messages. So I phoned her again a few times. And finally, finally, she came. And she was so inspired. And Baruch Hashem, she's now married, living in Yerushalayim with her husband and Kindalach Baruch Hashem. So what more can we thank the Rabbi Nishlam? Ezri Meim Hashem, Uyse Shemayim. I just want to say how appropriate it is during this particular period uh, in the history of our people uh, to be opening, to be <laughs> inaugurating a new shul in, in, in the Kehila. Uh, we, are, we are mourning the Chum Beis Amikdash and we are mourning all the catastrophes which have befallen our people right throughout our history those of us who have lived during the Holocaust have so much to mourn, but we have to face life, we have to be positive. And our answer is that we open more schools, we build more schools, more educational institutions. This is our answer, and this is, this is the indestructibility of our people, Teira, Aveda, and Gemilas Chasadim, and if we if we, if, we, if, we, if we have the right attitude in all these directions, directions, then I'm sure that we will be Zoycha, the Kabul, the Sheikh Sid Kaini, and Mahiru, of Yamenu, Amen. Amen. This is a certificate of honor. The Rav and the membership of the Edgewood Torah Center express their deep respect and admiration for our esteemed guests of honor, Rabbi and Rebetzin. Schleimer, Fal Kotler, who are such a special asset to the community and role models for all our mispalalim, showing all by word and deed how a yid should conduct oneself. Your droshes and your tefillahs are both stimulating and inspiring. And we wish you oid yenuvun beseva, de shenim veraananim yeyu. The Hagid ki yosher Hashem yishbi zoyche sariches yomim to continue inspiring all of us. In Hebrew, we say when trouble, when people chazal shalom have trouble, what do we say? Lama, why? If you take the word lama and you read it backwards, it's hey mem lamed. Hey mem lamed stands for. Hey Hashem, the Mem is Melech and the Lamed is Le'olam. Hashem Melech Le'olam. You're asking why, what, and when, and how. The Abish is the Melech Le'olam, and a Melech Poyre together, the king can open up anything and everything. And I feel tonight here <coughs> that Baruch Hashem, we were Zoycha, together with my dear Rebbeson, who I must say, and I must say, I'd like to say, and I'm saying wholeheartedly, the di, vidi the hu, di dohi, all our achievements, of all these 18 years of Avedis HaKodesh starting back in Ilford, till today here, Baruch Hashem, nine years in Ilford, nine years here, is all my rabbits and zuchos, it's all her input. On behalf of the Federation of Synagogues, we wish great success and future Hasloka Rabba to Rabbi Godleski and to Rebetzin Godleski and, and all their family. And may your Kehila continue to grow and be an absolute light to Cloud Israel and to Yiddishkeit around the world. It is, ETC means everybody. Everybody's Torah Center. It's not just mine. There's, there's no mention of my name in ETC at all. It is everybody's Taylor Center. Everybody become a partner with us, and thereby will be zeicher that the Rabbeinu Shlomo will see that we are, our tachlis is to bring kedusha to Klal Yisrael, kedusha to the world, bring the shoras hashchina to the world, and thereby will be ready. That these days will be nefach the sosa in the Rabbi Pesach Krom. The Gemara is a Megillah of Tesamid Aleph. 
Tanya Rabbi Leza Hakfar Oimer. Asidin bote knesiyos u bote medrashos sheva bavel sheyikvu beret Yisrael. All the shuls of Chutz Laaretz, all the shuls of Bavel, are eventually going to be somehow transplanted to Eretz Yisrael. The Beis Hamidrash will be as big as Yerushalayim is today. That's what the Masha says. So Rav Mordechai Slonimer asks, Yeah, but which shuls are going to be close to the Mokam Hamidrash of today? Some shuls are going to get that schus. And Ramot Chaslanim says, you know which shuls are going to be the closest to where the Beis Hamikdash is today? In those shuls where they have Moira Shemayim and Kvay Shemayim. If they have Moira Migdash, if they have that awe and that respect for a Beis HaKnesses, and they are Makadah Shem Shemayim, those shuls will be closest to the Beis Hamikdash. If you would ask me, I have no doubt whatsoever after being here such a Heilige Shabbos, that the Edgewood Torah Center will be one of those shuls that will be so close to the Mokam Amigdash itself. Because of the Chizuk that's given here, because of the Kirov that's done here, because of the Torah that's learned here, because of the Tefillah that's davened here, and because of the Chesed that's done here. It's not possible to imagine what davening is unless you come to the Edgewood Torah Center. I had this chus to daven next to Rabbi Rafael. I was crying after davening. You have never, ever in your life heard Birchas Rosh as, as as he does it. And his son Arya Leib, Friday night, and the harmony, they both have great voices. And as I said to the shul, the reason that the Abish that chose him to be the Rav of this community is if you come into ETC, you see the United Nations of Jewry. Every type of Yid is here. And they are harmonious because the Rav is a harmonious person, not only physically but spiritually. And he brings the whole Kehila together. So for me to come from New York and see that he's keeping up the tradition and the Achrayas and the legacy of his Heilige Tata and Mama is something that's so special and so privileged that I could be able to come to see that. We're presenting our host and our hostess tonight, Yoel and Dr. Sharon Silverstein, with a, a Kaylee of Shefa. Joel is a friend of ETC, he's a friend of everybody. Anybody who needs support, needs encouragement, whenever I need some, some encouragement, I phone Yoel and I say to him, I'm stuck. Can you help us? And he always, with his calm voice, manages to calm me down and say, don't worry, it'll be all right. You'll make it. And Baruch Hashem, we made it. So I'm happy to present Yoel with a Kaylee for the Tilo Sidai. And with a certificate. I had the occasion a few weeks ago to spend Shabbos in Ilford for the first time in seven years. We were there from 1997 to 2004. And I was invited back as a guest speaker in Coventry Roads. And it was like their boy coming home. They felt that I was part of Ilford, although I grew up in Southgate and learned in Gateshead Yeshiva and only turned up there in my uh, 20s or perhaps close to my 30s. I, that, you know, there was a feeling that those of us that were in the coal were pretty really much part and parcel of the community. And Rabbi Godolevsky provided something in Ilford. It was hidden away above a nightclub, difficult to find, but it was a place that people could go and learn. It was a place that provided yeshiva shadavening, that brought a chosid into town. I know Rabbi Godolevsky was very worried about one of our coal guys wearing a strimal in the street, but the balabatim in the area absolutely loved it. And so, Rabbi Godlewski 
Mr. Godlewski, we thank you very much for this honour. Being in Ilford gave us amazing opportunities, opportunities to, to speak, to be involved in communities that really shaped the way I am as a Rolf and I am as a teacher. <laughs> Rabbi Godlewski, mazel tov on the inauguration and Tatzlocher and everything that you do. So I've been presented, the Etchworth Torah Centre presents this award to our esteemed alumni, Rabbi and Mrs. Svi Cohen of Kingsley Synagogue and Noah Primary School for outstanding achievements. Following your many years as residents of Ilford Kolo and Torah Centre, Ru Bonim Shagidanu, we are proud to be identified as ones who started you on your splendid Avodas HaKodesh. Yirotzon Shatelchum Mala Mala Baharavotas HaTorah V'yirah Al Tashoma Kol Mavaser. Thank you very much, Rabbi Gunnar. It's very much a fantastic occasion. We've had a great day in great weather, and I think on the 7th of July, it can really be a day that everyone can be proud of at the opening of the centre.